I'm in Shenandoah National Park, and this is a hairpin turn on US Route 211. So I'm only about halfway up the side of the mountain right now. Here's Route 211 coming up from Spearyville. There's my little red car. And I am going to go up here to the, to the turn and walk straight into the woods on Pass Mountain Trail. And I'm going to hike that up to the top of the mountain. And then when I get up to the top, if I can, I'm going to keep bushwhacking down the other side of the mountain to Butterwood Branch. There used to be some old houses and fences and stuff there. So I'm going to go look for that stuff. One thing I'll point out, right here, you'll notice that this is a graded area. And that's because if you look on the old maps, this little spot here on the inside of the turn was referred to as a Piedmont picnic area. So for now, I'm going to close up my car and let's head up to the Pass Mountain Trailhead. Okay, here's the Pass Mountain Trailhead. The parking area is just around the turn uh, down there to the right. So this is an old road that went up this side of the mountain and down the other side. So let's head on up. Eight tenths of a mile into my hike, I'm up to uh, 1,785 feet. Started at 1,400 down in a parking area. And this uh, used to be a four-way intersection. Here's where I came from, up from US 211. <clears throat> this part of the trail still maintained. And that's Pass Mountain Trail continued. If you follow that in about another two and a half miles, it'll take you up to the top of Pass Mountain and the shelter and the Appalachian Trail. This road's abandoned, but this is the one I'm gonna take, which takes you up further to the north and down into Butterwood Branch. And there was a trail this way. I can still see part of it that goes up over top of uh, Oven Top Mountain and down towards Sperryville. So anyway, I'm gonna head over the top of the saddle here and down into Butterwood Branch. Point one miles into my hike. I'm descending into Butterwood Branch. I'm down to 1,680 feet. And let's see, there's where I came from. Down the old abandoned road. I, it's in pretty darn good condition for abandoned. And uh, right here at Abandoned the Road, that's a nice flat, flat little camping spot right there. In fact, there, I see spaces big enough that you could with a minimal amount of housekeeping, you could you could put a tent put a tent there. Plenty of trees for hammock camping. And uh, I'm going to continue descending down into the uh, into Butterwood Branch. Uh, some of these pictures and videos may may have a lot of sun reflection. The sun is it's it's the first week in January, and the sun's really low in the sky, so.
1.4 miles into my hike. I'm down to 1,580 feet. <clears throat> and according, according to a 1929 map, I'm within about 275 feet of where, where a house was. So, I know the sun's, there's the road coming down and it continues on down that way and veers off to the right. Now, I want to show you how clear, you see how clear that is over there? Now this side over here is where the driveway is. Look how overgrown, look how overgrown this is. Overgrown with prickly bushes galore. And <clears throat> I'll tell you something, I've hiked enough of these bushwhack hikes now. Here in this area, my theory is when, when land gets abandoned, if it was forested land, 90 years later, that's what you got. If it was clear, if it was cleared land, this is what you end up with. And this stuff is almost impossible to hike through. I might go down there just a little ways, but uh, you, I can see that there's a driveway here. What's left of one. So, and it's in the right spot. So I'm, I'm going to say this is the driveway to one of the houses. I'll, I'll show you which one when I do the map talk. I'll see if I can get down there a little ways and see if I can see, at least see anything. I'll forget trying to get through all that prickly bush stuff. So I came over here where it's clear. There's a rock pile. There's a rock pile. Down there's a rock pile. There's another rock pile. I'll take some still photos of some of these rock piles. Somebody obviously was clearing off land. One point six miles into my hike, I'm down to fourteen hundred and eighty feet. There's where I came from, and uh, look what's happened to the road. Ugh! It merged with uh, some feeders. So I don't know. Could be kind of wet and sloppy from here down. One point nine miles into my hike, I'm down to fourteen hundred and thirty feet. Uh, over there, a little ways before the hill is is the road. What's left of it? And I just happened to here's Butterwood Branch coming down, and I came over here. I crossed over to see this. This is a great big long fence. Maybe you can see it. I'm, I'm trying to not fall over here. And it goes on up the side of the mountain a ways, so... It's kind of interesting. So I crossed over Butterwood Branch and because uh, this side is flatter and there's a rock pile, there's another rock pile there, another one over there, so I'll get some, I'll get some still pictures.
2.3 miles into my hike, I'm down to 1,420 feet. That's uh, the way I came from back that way. In, fa <coughs> in fact, up there you can see the saddle of the mountain where, where I've got to go back. Down there is Butterwood Branch. Uh, I'm standing in what's I think used to be the road. It's getting harder and harder to make out the road, but there's rock reinforcement down there. And it looks like they re you can see the rock work up there. I mean, that might have been a driveway. I'll go up and take a look at that. But I think I'm, I'm pretty far past where the 1929 map showed all the all the houses and stuff. I didn't really find anything like that, just piles of rocks and stone walls and things. So I'm gonna turn around here. It's another about two tenths of a mile down to the park boundary, but I don't see much point in going down there. Plus it's getting pretty overgrown again. So I'm gonna turn around and start working my way back. So here's what the uh, road looks like down here near the bottom where it's fairly flat. Not the best hiking in the world here. 2.6 miles into my hike. <clears throat> the elevation here is 1430. I'm back to the uh, great big stone fence that I showed you, and that's where I crossed over Butterwood Branch, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cross back over here. And the strategy here is to see if I can get across without falling in. Okay, well, I got across without falling in. Back over on the other side now. Here's the road. So, the strategy now is just follow this on up the side of the mountain. on my way back up and uh, I noticed this metal this little metal flag painted yellow it's nailed to the side of this tree and I got up my GPS and sure enough this tree is right next to the this driveway very first driveway I told you about that goes off down that way doesn't go to anything now but That metal, <clears throat> that metal flag there, I don't see anything printed on it, but there could have been. I don't see anything stamped in it, but obviously it was to mark this location of this driveway. So right up there is that flag I was t telling you about. And somehow or other, I looked down through here and it looked like maybe a road. And somehow I whacked, bushwhacked my way down through here and look at this. Great big stone wall here, going down that way. I'm going to go down here just a little ways. It looks if uh, down there another 50 yards is the uh, is Butterwood Branch, but let me just go down here and see if I can get some good pictures. Yeah, so this this driveway or road, it crossed over Butterwood Branch right there and went on up into the hills over there a ways. That wall right there is probably four and a half feet high. 
And you can see over here on this side, they, they stacked it. That's probably right there. That's probably three feet high. And then that's looking back up towards the, the main road where I was hiking. So down here's Butterwood Branch Crossing. Let's see what's down here. Okay, so my waypoint that I called Butterwood Drive 1, I'm standing here. That's definitely looking down that way towards that driveway with the with the rock, uh, with the stone walls. I followed it down and crossed over Butterwood Branch. And then I got down to kind of a flat, mushy area with a lot of uh, dead grass and stuff. So that, that could be where, the, where one of these dwellings was. And then on the opposite side over here is where I first came down through here and pointed out how much clearer things are over here. But for now, I'm on my way back home, so I'm heading back up the uh, driveway or the uh, road here, walking in the ditch. Well, I'm back to my car, but I thought I'd, I'm standing in the Piedmont picnic area, which is the inside of this turn here. I thought I'd just show you what this looks like now. There's nothing here now. There's the hairpin bend and the trailheads over there. It's a nice graded area here. Right down there is the headwaters of the Thornton River. And back to the pull-off for the cars. This is a map of today's hike. The quadrangle name is Thornton Gap, 1994. And I hiked a trail that on this map, the trail is called Turn Bridge Trail. The Park Service renamed it to Pass Mountain Trail. And I hiked that up to the saddle of the mountain and then I continued on to the north on an abandoned trail that goes down into a Butterwood Branch. This road right here is US Route 211. Uh, Sperryville is down this way and this is you're starting to come up the side of the mountain and when you get up to here this is maybe uh, 1400 feet of elevation there's a little there's a little pull off right here you can park here and also if you look in this little area inside the turn you'll notice that it's flat and level and graded off uh, this map says Piedmont Picnic Area, so I suppose a while back there used to be a picnic area there. There's nothing there now, though. But anyway, so you, you have to hike up the, up, the, up the road just a little ways to here, and this is the trailhead. Now, this map says this is Turnbridge Trail, but the Park Service has renamed it to Pass Mountain Trail, so look for the concrete trailhead sign that says Pass Mountain Trail. And then this is this is just an old road. And it comes up the side of the mountain up to here. Now this is, when you get up to here, this will be your peak elevation for the hike. <clears throat> this is a saddle area. If you go to the left, this is this trail exists, and this is Pass Mountain Continued. And this takes you on up to the summit of Pass Mountain. And if you look over here, you'll see it says Pass Mountain Shelter. So that's one of the Appalachian Trail shelters there. That's a pretty nice hike. This trail here is abandoned. This one that goes up over Oven Top. 
So that's abandoned, and this is also abandoned, but I followed it on down the side of the mountain because on one of the, on some of the older maps, like 1929, uh, it showed dwellings down here. So I know people used to live down here in this hollow. So anyway, I followed it down. I didn't indicate on here when you get part of the way down. I found a, a driveway that heads off to the left here. I don't think it was here though. But I found a driveway that heads on, on off to the left and then continued on down to about here, which is within about two tenths of a mile of the park boundary, and turned around and back up the hill here up to the saddle and then back down this side of the mountain back to my car. You'll see in the uh, videos and the still pics the stuff that I found. I, I was hoping to find more than I did but I mostly found a bunch of uh, uh, rock piles and uh, some stack stone fencing. I did a lot of wandering around, so it ended up being, a, um, I had estimated this at two and a half miles, but it ended up being four and a half, and a total ascent of 897 feet. So <clears throat> from here, where you park your car up to here, this is established trail and, and it's maintained. From here on down, this you're totally bushwhacking. So some parts, of the, some parts of this old road are in pretty good shape and other parts are pretty, pretty nasty and overgrown. And that was the hike for today.